So again, tonight's lesson is going to be, what is tithing? Or what was tithes? Or whichever way you want to ask it. And so what we're going to do, we're going to answer three, there's three things about tithes that we want to touch on right away. First, tithes were for support of the Levites who were, who were responsible for the tabernacle. That's found in Numbers chapter 18, verses 20 to 26. That's Numbers chapter 18, verses 20 to 26. Tithes, that was the first thing again, tithes were for support of the Levites who were responsible for the tabernacle. Secondly, what's the second purpose of tithes back in the Old Testament? This is found in Deuteronomy chapter 14, verses 22 to 26. That's Deuteronomy chapter 14, verses 22 to 26. To support the various feasts and sacrifice. That's, what, that's the second thing that tithes was designed for. And third and final is found in Deuteronomy chapter 14, verses 28 to 29. What was the third thing that tithe was established for by, with, by the children of Israel, with the children of Israel by God? To establish a pool of resource to help the poor orphans and widows and strangers in the land. And we're going we're gonna to go in and we're going to look at those scriptures so you can get a better understanding. Now, if you already downloaded the Word document, let's take a look at it. Jesus mentioned tithes to the Pharisees in Matthew chapter 23, verses 23, raised the issue of tithing. Should Christian today pay tithes, or, or are we free from that practice? For that matter, what is tithes? The word means a tenth part in the Old Testament. God commanded Israelites to give tithes, one tenth of their produce or income for one of these three reasons. And I just touched on those reasons. Now, let's take a look at the first reason that tithes were, uh, God told the children of Israel to give their tithes. This is now found in Numbers chapter 18, verses 20 to 26. That's Numbers chapter 18, verses 20 to 26. And again, one of the first reasons that God or one of the first reason that God gave the 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 the, the command to the children of Israel uh, was to, the tithe was for support of the Levites who were responsible for the tabernacle. Now let's look at Numbers chapter 18, verses 20 to 26. Then the Lord said to Aaron, you shall have no inheritance in their land, nor shall you have any portion among them. I am your portion and your inheritance among the children of Israel. Behold, I have given the children of Levi all the tithes in Israel as inheritance in return for the work which they perform, the work of the tabernacle of meeting. Hereafter, the children of Israel shall not come near the tabernacle of the meeting, lest they bear sin and die. But the Levi shall perform the, the work of the tabernacle of meeting, and they shall bear their iniquity. It shall be a status, it should be a statue forever, throughout your generation, that among the children of Israel there shall have no inheritance. For the tithe of the children of Israel, which shall offer up as heave offering to the Lord, I have given to the Levites as an, as an inheritance. Therefore, I have said to them, Among the children of Israel there shall have no inheritance. Now, let me explain this. Let me explain this a little bit, okay? So, what happened here? God, the, the children of Lee and Aaron, they're considered to be the Levites, okay? So what God told the, children, told the children of Israel and the Levites is that the Levites who were responsible uh, for, uh, the, 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 the Levites who, who were from the, the tribe, of the, pri the priests would come from the tribe of Levites, um, um, they were responsible for taking care of the tabernacle. And so by doing so, they weren't promised any land in Canaan. So their offering would be from God. In other words, the Eve offering, all the other offerings that were offered to God from the children of Israel, the Levites could get a 10% of that offering. And so that would prevent them, or that what God was saying to them, that because of that, he is their inheritance. Now, the other thing that we have to understand is that even though the Levites did not get any land in Canaan, which was the promised land, they also had communal land that they live off during that time uh, that they were getting 10% of uh, the tithes of the children of Israel. So that's one part, part that we have to understand. Now, in 2 Chronicles, I just want to show you that now we already know that if, if when we're talking about Old Testament, that you're under the law. 
So what I'm, the point I'm going to make is that these are tithes were under the law. And, and we're going to get to the end of tithes and we're going to you know, talk about the law and all that good stuff. That's why some people probably believe, be honest with you, that tithes today uh, is not a New Testament thing. It really is a vow um, that, that, um, that, that God ordered the children of Israel to do. And since we're living on the grace that we should do free will offering, not tithe. And we'll get into that um, again, but I won't be long, but I will get into that briefly. In 2 Chronicles verses 31, verses 4 through 6, and now we're going to deal with the Ezekiah reform. Now, you've got to 